In thinking about how I could better understand what a hurricane is, I really wanted to take up a panpsychic interpretation. How do you understand a hurricane? How do I empathize with the notion of a storm? What is it like to be a storm? How do I see what the storm is seeing, feel what a storm would feel? That prompted me to want to then insert my own body and just kind of look through this hole to try to gaze out at an image that would replicate the notion of being a big eye up in the sky looking down at the world around. My name is Virginia Lee Montgomery. I am an artist from Texas and I am the creator of Skyloop. Skyloop is an immersive, sensorial, and surreal exhibition that was crafted out of my memories of going through Hurricane Harvey. A lot of the desire to make the Skyloop exhibition was to find a way to characterize the storm, but through a vocabulary of hope, healing, and recovery. There are many different kind of visceral aspects of the Skyloop exhibition that appear both in the videos and in the sculptures. A common theme that comes up through all the videos is the notion of a circle or a hole or a loop. This is because when I was really thinking about, you know, what is kind of the symbolic philosophic vocabulary that is happening in the situation of a hurricane that's occurring overhead. I was really fixated on this moment that I experienced when Hurricane Harvey was happening and I was lying down and I was just very aware of the fact that it was so uncanny that, you know, here we are in Houston living in a city that is defined by its epic highway looping system. As many of you all know, the highway is called the loop. And thinking about the notion of the looping highway system and all these different human architectural forms that kind of influence the way we move through space, and then having the big looping sky system of a hurricane swirling over the Houston loop, and then how we as viewers, of course, with the oculus, the circles of our own eyes, look up and experience that. The other circle theme that comes up in the Skyloop video is the notion of eye spots on butterfly wings. Watching a butterfly being born is one of the most hopeful and awe-inspiring moments you can witness. Because even despite the ferocious nature of hurricanes and you know, the torrents that they create, it's really important to remember that nature and life will find a way to continue forward. Butterflies are a very, very, very ancient insect. Their existence predates the arrival of mammals. If you think about how the last Cretaceous was about 65 million years ago, and you know, that's when the asteroid caused the impact that wiped out most of the dinosaurs. Butterflies had been existing for eons and eons and eons before then. What's really interesting is that through the fossil record, we found out that 
there are proto butterfly insects that similarly have wings with eye spots. So it's quite fantastic to consider that when you are looking at a butterfly with eye spots on its wings, Butterflies evolved those eye spots before we as mammals even existed. That eye symbol is something I really wanted to explore within this exhibition, symbolically within our own shared human culture, whether it be the eye of Dharma, the eye of Providence, the evil eye, Eyes play a lot of significance in spirituality. And then if you look at, in biology, the presence of eye spots as signaling devices on animals, they also carry a lot of weight. And then of course, the notion of a hurricane, a gi giant swirling vortex of water and wind. But what I'm trying to get at as an artist is the notion that there is a metaphysical, poetic substructure to everything that's happening. Honey is a very magical material. Um, historically, it is a material that has always had a spiritual and a very symbolic usage as something that would envelop a body or the body to allow an individual to transcend into the afterlife. The classic example of how honey was used in the ancient Egyptian process of embalming pharaohs in other religious traditions, such as um, the pagan rite of Oster in Anglo-Saxon Europe, uh, honey was frequently eaten around this time of year, the spring, to celebrate the equinox. And uh, similarly, honey has always been revered for its actual chemical properties of being naturally antiseptic. So if you are someone that is interested in organic holistic medicine, you know that honey is one of the best ways to prevent a wound or a cut from actually becoming toxic. both the spiritual qualities of honey and the actual chemical qualities of honey as a medicinal attribute made me really just want to envelop all the hurricanes with honey as again proposing this metaphysical remedy of you know what you can do to try to inspire healing While it is a fantastical proposition to think that you know, by healing a hurricane with a small model yourself would create significant change, I do believe that ways that you can think about empathetically modeling a solution might yield a different way of getting through a natural disaster.
it was very important to me that the Skyloop project wasn't a fetishization of trauma. Rather than dwelling upon, you know, the, the panic that the hurricane ensued, it was important for me to actually look at nature itself and work with a non-human subject, like a butterfly, to see how I could enable a type of metaphysical, witchy science experiment to mediate the horror of a hurricane.